Hello. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about feminism. I think that uh, a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about what feminism is, and that's just what I would like to talk about and share my definition of feminism that I have learned um, through living my life as a woman. I know when I was 14 years old and I just sensed the tension and the anger between men and women um, before I knew what feminism was about, I was drawn to it and um, I was really angry from the things that I saw about how women were treated, especially regarding um, the violence that they endured without a lot of support from society. Um, but since then, I have become a stronger individual. And I've learned that um, in order to get along in the world, being angry isn't really going to get you that far. So, um, well, sometimes I feel anger. A lot of times I feel anger, especially when I hear about women getting um, abused and raped or called names, sexual names, or just the way language is used. It kind of reflects our um, ideas of what women are supposed to be like and what men are supposed to be like, and I don't think that leaves a lot of room for humanity oftentimes. Um, we're trying to shove humans into these little gendered boxes, and I think it cuts off uh, big parts of us, and it's, it's not very fair. So um, my main issue with feminism, and I do call myself a feminist, like any theory, I think that it should be open to critique, and um, is the word, the word feminist, actually, um, and feminism, because I don't think it's actually reflective of where feminism is going now. Um, the word was coined, you know, in the late 1800s, around the time when women were trying to get the right to vote, trying to get their most basic human rights, um, and become legal individuals. Uh, and it basically just meant um, equality between the sexes, looking for equal rights, looking for equal opportunities. So I do think that language is really important and I'm always trying to get at the definition of things and I'm always trying to pay attention to how words change as our ideas about the concepts that the words represent change. Um, and they inevitably do because we're always getting new information new information is always coming into our consciousness and we're always, always having to revise our ideas. And the same is true with feminism. I know a lot of people um, have a lot of issues with feminism um, because they say that it's about hating men um, and trying to take away children from men or exclude men from the family. and. Um, I personally, in my view of feminism, and all of my friends' view of feminism, that's not it at all. Um, we want men to be full human beings as well, which would mean embracing their feminine side, just like we have to embrace our masculine side, which doesn't necessarily mean that we're gonna, you know, take boxing or do some stereotypical male thing. But it does mean that when we're with men, it's not because we need to be with men. It's not because we need men. It's because we choose to be with men because we love them. And they choose to be with us because they love us. You know, if, if, if we're talking about heterosexuality. One of the things that I want to say about the definition of feminism changing is 
that it is constantly being revised and it, new voices are coming from the margins and coming towards the center and adding their experiences. And I do think that feminism now has a, you know, an analysis of not only sexism, but it's getting a little bit more refined and it's dealing with racism and homophobia and environmental degradation and globalism and how religion affects you know, the human experience and prejudice against people with different abilities and different body sizes and just human rights in general. And that is basically my entire point, um, is that feminism is a human rights movement. And women are one part of the human population. And while their struggles and their issues are definitely unique, and separate from men's by being a feminist or being a feminist activist or advocating for women's health and safety and freedom and liberty and wanting to have the freedom to express yourself verbally, sexually, spiritually with safety um, doesn't take away rights from men. It helps men and women actually work together to make a future that's sane, a future that's sustainable. And I guess that's basically my point, is that feminism is actually about love and collaboration and cooperation. And I think that it complements, you know, any other human rights theory. So people who call themselves, you know, masculinists or whatever, I think really need to maybe look at the similarities between feminism and their own movement and work together. Because that's, that's the only way that I see any sort of progress coming in our society is if, if, if these labels that we've used to start a movement, you know, the Black Power Movement, American Indian Movement, all of these different um, movements state based on identity politics are great starts because they rally individuals with similar concerns and issues, but there comes a point, and I do think that feminism is at that point right now, where we get past the identity politics. and get to the essence of humanity, which is human rights for everyone. So um, that's basically all I wanted to say. Um, I just kind of wanted to set the record straight because I've noticed a lot of comments on YouTube about people talking about what feminism means, you know, that if you are a feminist, you hate children or whatever. You know, I just want to say that a lot of my friends have children, are married to men, and they love their husbands and they love their partners and they love their um, children um, because that's their personal choice and it doesn't necessarily take away from the fact that they are a feminist either. It is all complimentary. So you know, anyone who tells you that you can't be a mother and raise your children how you choose to and be a feminist at the same time is wrong. Anyone who says that feminists say that it's wrong for a woman to raise her child and not have a career outside the home, they're wrong. Anyone who says that feminism represents women trying to rule society at men's expense um, they're wrong. Again, I just want to reiterate that feminism is about love and evolution and progress as a society in every single facet. So, um, that's all. Thank you for watching.